guys, welcome to Beyond Transmission. I'm Trevor Hagen, and today we are in Las Vegas. And I was actually here uh, out on a DJ gig. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, anyway, tonight we're gonna have some more fun and talk about the simulation theory. So what if what we call life on Earth, the universe, this whole human experience is all one incomprehensibly technological simulation that has been spurred on by the advancement of AI and virtual reality, whether in this universe or any other for that matter. I know this sounds pretty crazy at first blush, but by the end of the video, you might be convinced that this theory has a lot more logic to it than you would maybe expect. So. This theory first popped up in the 1990s, but has become a fairly viral topic as of late with Elon Musk becoming so outspoken on the topic with phrases like, The odds that we're in base reality is one in billions. First of all, um, before we jump into the theory itself, it's important to kind of set the stage so we can understand why the theory exists in the first place. Uh, so first we'll talk about our universe and then we'll get into the brain and virtual reality. So, and I'll try to cover this really quick, but astronomers estimate that there are over a 100 billion habitable Earth-like planets in the Milky Way alone and about 50 sextillion in our observable universe. Although we don't have the technology to visit all of these planets, we're now able to observe and detect them, leading scientists to say that the universe is no doubt teeming with life and civilizations outside of our puny pale blue dot, as Carl Sagan would put it. The last thing we need to establish though is where we're currently at in ways of technology, the brain and artificial intelligence. So in the past few years, neuroscientists have embarked on several ambitious projects to make sense of the tangle of neurons that makes up the human experience um, and really makes it human and makes it an experience. So the Human Brain Project, it's a $1.3 billion plan to build a computer model of the brain. It's happening right now. They project that they'll be able to map the neuroanatomic structure of the brain by 2030, essentially allowing us to download a brain onto a hard drive. Kind of crazy, right? It's predicted that this, along with the current trajectory of AI technology, that a human will not be able to tell a difference between reality and virtual reality by the year 2045. Think of it this way. 40 years ago, we had Pong, like two little rectangles and a dot. If you're old enough to remember that game, I remember Atari and it was just extremely basic. And that's what games were, that's all we knew. But now fast forward to 40 years later and we have photorealistic 3D simulations of worlds without end with millions of people playing simultaneously and communicating with each other. And it's just getting better and better every single day. Okay, so with all of that in mind, Here's how the hypothesis goes. And there are really only three possibilities of what could be happening with this whole reality that we perceive. One, that we are the very first civilization in the infinite history of time and throughout universe that has technologically gotten this advanced. You could also say that maybe others have gotten this far but have experienced some sort of calamity that destroyed them before they could create this simulated reality, simulated consciousness. Let's hope it's not this first possibility because that means our chances would be pretty slim at making it out of this technological frontier alive as a civilization. The second possibility is that every other civilization that has gotten to this point has decided not to move forward with virtual reality due to ethical or moral reasons, despite the motives. Now, I think this is the least likely, seeing that there are just way too many motives in ways of money, power, porn itself, uh, for it not to win out at the end of the day. So, the third possibility, and you may have guessed it, but that is that we are living in a simulation. It's as simple as that. Elon Musk also said that... I mean, arguably we should hope that that's true because otherwise if 
if civilization stops advancing, then that may be due to some calamitous event that erases civilization. So maybe we should be hopeful that this is a simulation because otherwise, e either we're going to create simulations that are indistingu indistinguishable from reality or civilization will cease to exist. Those are the two options. So anyway, to wrap this up, we may be a simulation. It is a possibility, right? Um, but maybe not how we currently view simulation, like in video games. I mean, we already know that our bodies are the most advanced technology that exists, and we still can't understand exactly how they work. And so if this is a simulation, then it's a beautiful one. And it's one that we decided to be a part of, as what's driving us is our creator. Actually, when you really stop to think about it, whether this theory is true or not, it shouldn't change how we go about our lives or what we focus on because all we know is that there's something much bigger going on. We don't understand where we come from or what we're made of exactly. So we're still left with this idea that we're here to experience this life however it is that we desire. After all, if the supreme universe is infinite and constantly creating and expanding, what would stop that force from expanding and creating inwardly through technology? Anyway, I hope I was able to shed a little light on the subject for you. Um, who knows, maybe you still think it's as crazy as when you started the video, but for me, it's a pretty strong argument. Um, I think the most important thing is not to dwell on it too much. Anyway, please comment below if you have any thoughts on the matter and feel free to subscribe for so much more to come. Most importantly though, stay curious. See you next time.